Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. Yo, it's the Given Eight, and today I'm gonna be telling you the fastest way to earn armory credits in World War II multiplayer. Now, before we get into that, I'm gonna tell you what armory credits actually do. So if you come over to your quartermaster, your armory credits are used to buy contracts so you can example get in this one, you get rewarded with XP, so you can use these armory credits to buy contracts which give you XP. They vary in difficulty, you can get supply drops from it, and various other things. So XP, supply drops, and then as well as that, you can buy weapon collections. So you can get these um, items that build up, and then at the end of it, you'll get an epic variant for a gun. Now, at the minute, the epic variants are completely useless. I made a video on the other day telling to save up all of your armory credits and your supply drops because the only good thing about these variants is that they look cool and that they give you 10% extra XP when you get kills. So that is really not useful, and we know for certain that Activision are going to add. Uh, weapon variants that are stat changing and like the Black Ops 3 Infinite Warfare variants because they want money They want money and these won't make money because they, no what why would you want something that gives you 10% extra XP? That's just crap in my opinion I'm not doing the race because I know I won't win it. I'm one person on my own and I'm pretty sure you will have the same kind of mindset but then if you come over here to General what's his face? I don't know Major Howard you can actually win armory credits. Now, this guy you want to be going to. So, I wouldn't recommend you even go to the Quartermaster. Not until DLC 1. And then you can buy stuff. But here, this is how you can start earning them fast. So, you can just build up these armory credits. Now, you want to look for the challenges that give you armory credits. So, here's one for example. This is get 5 equipment kills. So, that's grenades. And then you get 250 armory credits. That is a really good one. So, I'm going to activate that right now. All you do is click on it. And now, you're, you've got 24 hours to complete that. Pretty, pretty straightforward, simple to do. Um, there's quite a lot of other things you can get from this as well, so I'd recommend you do all of the supply drop ones because that's going to help you get weapons as well. But then, I'm going to hop into some games and I'm going to show you the best way to earn keys game style wise. Never mind, before we get into that, you can also come over to the mail place. And when you come here, every single day, well not, so this one is four hours you get paid. So you get 100 armory credits every four hours. So you want me coming to the mail every four hours to maximize the amount of armory credits you can get. So now we'll move on to the game place. So I just played two games. I played a hardcore game and I played a core game to see which would give me more armory credits and it turns out that playing games doesn't actually give you armory credits. I thought it was going to be like the key system from the older CODs where you would get rewarded after games with a certain amount of keys but it does not work like that. So I found out two other ways to earn yourself some keys, I mean armory credits never mind, but um, essentially what you do is when this headquarters is full of people. For some reason, mine's glitched down. It's only me in here. You would walk up to people and you would hold X on them. Once you've held X, if you're on PlayStation, it'd be square. And then you click Commend Player. Now, that will give you 25 social score. Well, it will give them 25 social score. But if you commend them, they're likely to commend you. And that is when you get a social score. Also, another way to earn social score is to watch people open their supply drops. And um, so you're going to gain like 25 score every time you watch someone open a supply drop. And then you might be thinking, why are you talking about the social score? That's nothing to do with armory credits. I'll show you now what they do. So if you go into your dossier, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner, you have a social rank. I'm currently rank one. So I need to socialize more with people. And you can see every time you rank up, you get a reward. And a lot of the time, the reward is armory credits. And you see there, to get to level one, you get 500 armory credits. That is really good. So all it takes is for you to commend, well, to be commended by four people and you'll rank up to level one. And that's an easy 500 armory credits. And then every time you rank up, you get like the reward is going to be even more armory credits. And then sometimes it's weapons, sometimes it's supply drops. But that is a really good way to earn your armory credits. So you could just do this. If you're not even feeling card, you could just come on, go into that uh, headquarters area and just go up to loads of people, spamming X on them, commending them, and you'll just rank that up so, so fast. And then another thing that you can do every single day when you log in, you get a armory credit 
bonus. So you get a reward every time you log in every day. And then when you have a streak going, so if you log in two days in a row, you get a multiplier to your reward. So when you get a massive streak going, you're gonna be earning more and more armor credits every single day. So for example, if you got given 100 credits on the first day as your reward, if you went the second day, you might get 200 credits. I don't know example for um, how much the multiplier is exactly. It might be like 150 and then, so like times 1.5, but besides, that's besides the point. You're gonna be earning more armory credits every single day if you log in. But anyway, that's how you get the most armor credits in World War 2 at this point in time. It is only the second day after launch, so if I find anything else new, I'll make a new video on it. But anyway, it's been the Gibbonator. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.